Good evening and uh, welcome to the Big Shay with me, Steve Farragher, uh, coming from Liverpool in the United Kingdom. Um, bit of a late shave actually, I'm having the, I'm having the shave before I go to bed. Uh, some of you don't usually do, but I've uh, got an early start tomorrow so I don't want to be messing around. Uh, a couple of things really in today's Big Shave. I'm going to look at, I think it was um, a guy called Hardik, Hardik, Hardik con Contractor, I was asking about... Um, Shaving with a with a stick, which is one of these things. This is an Erasmic stick. This is probably the hardest one. Um, it's like a candle. It's like a wax. It's really really thick. You can see I'm scratching the surface. I'm making a very good job. This is the uh, this is Arco, the beloved Arco, which people seem to be getting getting the message about. Uh, it's a lovely soft. You see, soft. Um, which means that you can press it into the bottom of your mixing bowl. I think I've said this before, but when I was in Turkey, when I got shaves in Turkey, I was a bit bemused really. It always looked like they were running out of uh, shaving soap. But the, the thing is, they, they use, a very, use a very small bowl and you just put a little bit at the bottom. Uh, and that's the reason why. And the, the other shaving soap you can get in the stick is, uh, this is palm olive. This is good stuff. Again, this is soft. This is soft enough to be pressed into the bottom. So it's two ways. Is one, one is you press it into the bottom, and then you mix up in the bowl. And the other way people use, which I'm not a massive fan of, is you get your you get your brush. I'm gonna use um, a hog's hair brush. Uh, you mix, you load, you load it up. You wet your brush, load it up onto that, and then actually face face lather. Um, it's okay. The other thing. To, well, the one you can do, you can actually rub the soap into your face, which I don't, don't really like at all. And um, what the lather we're going to use today is uh, I'm going to use the palm olive. I'm going to put a little, little squirt of Vico, Mr. Vico, into it. Um, it doesn't smell of turmeric, by the way. It smell it smells quite soapy. Uh, it's got a sort of slight patchouli. Patchouli smells sort of hippie, hippie-esque type smell. Uh, the other thing you can do with the Erasmic stick, which I found quite useful, is you can actually get a blade, a razor blade or a knife blade, and just you can see what I've done with this one. You actually chip, chip a few bits of it off, uh, put a little weeny bit of hot water into the bottom of your bowl, and let it, let it sort of soften it up. And uh, Erasmic, for years I used to buy Erasmic, could never get a good lather off it because I wasn't using it nice. But that's the way to do it anyway. So, well, a few, few tips. Um, now, the other thing we're going to look at tonight. Is um, people are people are going on about this this thing here, which is the uh, this is the UMAR, this is the old UMAR. I've had this about five years, and you can see it's a bit pitted and old. Uh, you can get new new versions of it, a lot more shinier. It's made out of really cheap metal, and its cheapness belies its its ability. Really, it's it's a uh, as far as I know, it's it's a it's a it's a replica of a of a. Um, a Gillette, I think it's 1906 or 1904. May I do a similar one, which is this one. This is about, I got this for about 15 quid. These usually go for about 20 pounds there. This is heavy. This is a bit lighter. Uh, you can see the heads are completely different. And I'm sort of guessing that this is a Merca, standard Merca head. Uh, and this is actually more like the original Gillette in um, 1906. The great thing about them is you can you can swap them around. It's um, if you like them if you like the uh, UMAR head, you can actually put uh, you put the UMAR handle onto the maker like so, and you can actually put the maker handle, which is a bit heavier, onto the UMAR. Okay, I'm not going to do that today because there's a reason why. Um, people have been asking that, you know, what's the humor I like to, to shave with? Uh, I think it's a great little razor. Um, I know a few other people have used it and, and they like it. Uh, so we're going to do a shave tonight with this. It's quite a technical razor. If you, if you, you know, you want to try and get as close to shave as possible, you really need to know what you're doing. But as long as you don't push it, I think even like a, a, a novice can use it. And I'm using a, I'm putting a, Wilkinson sword in it, and uh, a couple of issues that you that you to have with the with the UMAR. First of all, 
uh, don't over tighten it because you can take the thread off. The other thing to say is you need to uh, just be a bit careful when you're actually putting the putting the blade in. That, uh, it, it lines up properly. You can see the way that's straight sometimes because it's not like engineered fantastically. You can end up with it like that. You can see the way that's uneven on one end. Just make sure the blade's nice and straight when you put it in and then slowly tighten it up. Don't over tighten it. Uh, right, okay. It's about right. Okay, so that's it's got a reasonably large. If I get that to go and focus, which it won't. There we go. You see the gap on it? The gap's quite wide. Um, um, but the good thing about it, it has, has some great points. Great points is it's really cheap. Second point is it's got a hollow handle. Now, the thing is, you think that would be a disadvantage because. It's not heavy, but that acts like a, a bit like a sounding board, like a violin body or a guitar body, and it, you can actually hear the uh, the blade be, uh, the beard being reduced. Um, so while while, I'm, while we're thinking about that, we'll we'll it up a little bit. Um, and again, it's uh, Vico and Palm Olive, so it's making a uh, super lava. Or an Uber lather or whatever people call it. Um, this shape and brush, uh, it's an old, uh, it's an old ball brush I've had for a long time. Bought it in Turkey again, a long time ago, probably about five or six years ago. And um, it's my second brush really. It's, it's softened up really good. It's as good as a badger brush. And um, I just started selling these as well, just a bit of a bit of product placement. Selling these on there, uh, but a part of a shaving kit uh, on on eBay. I've shaved me, I've set, changed the name as well of my account on eBay to the big shave. So you can see that uh, quite easily you got you got good uh, good foam. I put a bit more water in it, and because it's Vico, or Vico or whatever it's called, I'm gonna leave it to stand for a bit because it, it's very very foamy when you first do it, when you first lather up with it, and it takes a while for it to actually all the air to go out of it. So I'm gonna put that down for a second. Um, look at some other razors as well. So if you're starting, you've never shaved with a decent razor before. What's on offer? Well, you can go and buy. You know, you can buy your futures and you go and buy your visions and all that. And they, they cost loads of money. But you can. There's some other alternatives as well. And the one way I always try and push is the uh, Wilkinson Sword Classic. You get them on Amazon, eBay for about a fiver with a pack of blades. Well constructed. It's got a, it's got a nice weight in it in the handle, even though it's plastic. Uh, it hasn't got a massive gap in it, so it's quite difficult to actually damage yourself um, and get yourself a really close shave with that. Put a, put a decent blade in it, you can get a fantastic shave. Next up is um, this is something I only discovered a couple of weeks ago. It's a Boots, you live in Britain, Boots own brand. Got a nice head on it, it's, uh, it's a bit gappy on the top, but it's okay for the starter. It's a uh, three piece, you unscrew it, and it's do bits there. You get that for under four pounds with, with ten razor blades, I think, or five razor blades. And the last one is the feather, which you only use a couple of times. I'm not not terribly impressed with. Quite what's quite disappointing is the gap when you got a blade in it is not very wide. It's nicely made. Um, I would have thought it'd be more aggressive being feather because the feather made the uh, aggressive blades, but it's not. Okay, so it's time to lather up. There we go. So it's got the, you know, um, people have been uh, talking about the smell of uh, Vico, but uh, I think it's great. Okay, so there we go. Let's get, let's get a bit more, a bit more foam on. Mix it up. And uh, you can probably hear the sound. Let me get in a bit closer here. It's a bit light as a razor. It's not. It's not like the future. The future carries itself, carries its weight, makes the shaving a bit easier. It's actually quite a light razor, so you need to be careful that you don't press too hard. Really, just let it ride over the over the beard.
Press it on the first, the first pass. Okay, so it's allowed that we're going for the second pass. We just tilt that up a little bit so you can see what I'm doing, that's better. And the, uh, the foam's even better, the foam's richer than it was before. I keep dropping razors on the floor, folks. It's not very good, is it? Um, what else has been happening, really? Um, in Britain, not much. Weather's been cold, then not so cold, and then cold again. So it's the second pass, I'm going against the growth. Across the growth, sorry. And then... Uh, this time, so it's going down the cheek, across the jawline. And you can see that the, um, you know, the, I'm not getting any nicks off the mat, off the, uh, the humor. It's it's a it's a positive experience. I'm not trying too hard with it though, I'm not pressing really hard. Right, this is the, this is the one where you just I'll keep quiet actually so you can hear when the when the uh, the beard's going. So this time we're gonna go down the jawline and we're gonna go up the face and we're gonna sort of play around a little bit on the on the throat area, although it is quite smooth even now. Okay, so we're gonna go down the jawline either side. One thing I'd say about the uh, the UMAR is always always keep it clean, keep it washed out. Fuck, fuck. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna. Slide up the neck again. Give it one last go, and then this time we're gonna, we're gonna, I'm gonna be feeling. Me, why let me just tilt that down a little bit. I'm gonna be feeling, feeling for the rough bits. There you go. I don't think I'm gonna get any 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 more beard off there after this. Okay, clean it off. Four pounds, four pound razor. They look a bit nicer than this when you buy them. They're quite shiny, um, and you get an absolutely that's with a Wilkinson sword. I should really try it with a with an aggressive blade. Put a put a maker or a or a feather in it, but. You know, that's, that's fantastic. Right, okay, just that bit done. Time for the finishing off. Go on. It's gonna seem funny as well going to bed with the... Uh, with the shaved face. I'm just gonna put aftershave on actually, I'll have, I'll have to clone, so... I'm gonna rub aftershave straight home. Let it evaporate. Damp it off. And then finish off with some uh, some alcohol cream. Uh, and the floors are littered with razors at the moment. Okay, so I hope that's, I hope that's been useful. Give people some insight into what the humour's like. I know there's a, there's a couple of people in the group. Adam. Adam in there. The Czech Republic saw this one. And Steve Bins as well, another guy who's just joined. Uh, he's he's ordered one, so I'll be uh, dead interested in getting feedback off people. See how people get on with it. I rate it. I rate it a lot. And, uh, which is probably one of the reasons I'm selling them on eBay, because I wouldn't sell them if I didn't rate them. Right, okay, thanks for that. Uh, time to go to bed, because it's getting quite late now. I uh, hope you've enjoyed this uh, longer than average video. But I hope it's been useful, some information for you. 
And uh, have a good day and wait tomorrow. It's funny you're not rushing, isn't it, really? Anyway, I'll uh, see you all in the week. I'm going to try and get a few on this week. I'm going to try and make a better time and uh, put a few on. Talk about a few other things about besides shaving. But if there's any questions, anyone's got any comments to make, feel free. Um, and just let me know what you think about the videos and uh, you know what can be, what other subjects we can broach in the big shade with me, Steve Farragher. Goodbye.